All right, welcome back to the rigging bench. Striper season is here. They're back, man. I'm so psyched. We are in the midst of it right now. What are you seeing out there right now, Chris? Uh, there's a lot of big fish moving on topwater plugs. Um, oh, yeah. A lot of big fish setting up, getting ready to move through the canal. Uh, a lot of fish that already have moved through. Uh, this is prime time for us um, as anglers, whether you're hitting it from the shore or from the beach. Yeah. Um, there's a lot of great opportunities to catch some really nice fish. This is like through. the, I feel like this is the one of the couple times a year where it's like, if you're gonna lose sleep, like right now is kind of the time to do yeah. it. Like just just go, just sell out essentially and just go out and, and target fish for a couple nights because yeah. this is it. Man. So we're gonna have three different choices for fly lines. We're gonna have a floating line, an intermediate line, which hovers just below the surface, and a sinking line or a sinking tip, which is gonna drop down below the surface. You're gonna be needing your leader material with your fly line. So a nine foot tapered leader pre-made pre for you is fine, but feel free to build your own leaders as well with mono or fluoro. Um, with a sinking line, you're gonna really shorten up your leader. You won't need the full nine feet. So a great entry level rod, you know, get, getting involved in the sport, getting started. You can purchase these pre, um, you're going to have your rod and your reel. It's a total package and a line will most likely be on your reel as well. Definitely replace that line. It's going to help your casting, but this is an eight weight and uh, this will really cover a lot of bases. And if you're going to be going from shore, uh, we're going to definitely need a stripping basket. We're going to have moving water potentially blow our feet. We're also gonna be stepping on our fly lines. So something like this easily attaches to your hip, has some anti-tangle, but as well, I suggest to drill a few holes in the bottom of this, just to let water drain throughout the bottom. If not, they'll, they'll fill up with water. And don't forget your stickers. All right, so early May, you know, you're looking for those first couple fish of the year. Uh, you, I like, for my first fish, I'm going late in the day, you know, that late afternoon sunset bite, looking for those mud flats, those rivers, you know, your, your calmer, shallower mud flats are gonna warm up quick in the sun, especially if you get one of those sunny, warm days on the Cape. Uh, your small topwaters, Rebel Jump and Minnow, Head and Spook, uh, soft plastics always work, your Sluggos, your Albi Snacks, your Joe Bags, Sand Eels, anything like that, anything small. Um, I'm not doing too heavy on the tackle, 20 pound leader, three, 4,000 size reel, seven, eight foot rod, really all you need. You know, you want to enjoy the fight of these fish. I love fish in skinny water. I think there's nothing cooler, especially at night. Um, not to say that there aren't on the beaches, you know, early May, you can get them on the beaches, smaller bait. I'm looking for those herring schools, uh, ideally getting a little bit bigger fish. You know, maybe if you're on a small, small fish, small bait, bigger fish, bigger bait, so especially at night, you know, you're looking for those big herring, uh, big profiles, you know, your red fins, your SP minnows, your sabils, stuff like that. And that can really get you a big fish pretty early in the season when everyone else is on schoolies. Brings us to the giveaway. Yeah, um, we We're got? giving away a bunch of hand-tied um, striper flies from uh, Hellfire, boy Josh. Uh, we got two crease flies. Uh, these are awesome uh, to work on top. You can Ooh, also throw them on a sinking flies. line. I haven't oh, yeah. done that yet, but Steve assures me that it works. Mm -hmm. uh, we also got a clouser here from Hellfire, and I f keep forgetting the name of this, but it's an eely looking uh, topwater bait. Um, Abbott said that we're cheating using something like this, but I don't, <laughs> I don't care. <laughs> it's gonna work. Those fly fish are yeah. Um We also got a tropical punch from Brian Kelly, who we're featuring in the episode. Um, I love this fly on bright sunny days in the flats. Um, and then uh, Connor Barbus is another local tire uh, that helps us in the shop here and supplies a lot of our flies. Uh, this is his big eye minnow. Um, another great, uh, great fly to throw this time of year. 